टुडे अवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ट्रांजिस्टर्स ट्रांजिस्टर इज मेड अप ऑफ टू वर्ड्स दैट इज ट्रांसफर प्लस रजिस्टर इट मीन्स वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग सिग्नल फ्रॉम लो रजिस्टेंस टू हाई रजिस्टेंस और फ्रॉम हाई रजिस्टेंस टू लो रजिस्टेंस इट मीन्स वी कैन डिफाइन द ट्रांजिस्टर एज an electronic device which transfers signals from low resistance to high resistance or vice versa transistor is a semiconductor device and it is used for amplification of signals it means if we have given a weak signal in amplitude with the help of transistor we can amplify the amplitude of the signal also we can use transistor as an oscillator it means we can produce sine waves cosine waves or oscillating or frequency waves with the help of our transistor transistor is a current controlled device current control devices are those devices in which the output is controlled with the help of input and the input signal in current control devices is current it means by changing the current in the input side we can change the output signal transistor on the basis of construction it is of two types one is known as pnp transistor and another is known as npn transistor in case of npn transistor and pnp transistor if we have a two p type semiconductor and an n type semiconductor is sandwiched in between them that means we constructed a pnp transistor and in the same way if we have two n type semiconductors and a p type semiconductor is sandwiched in between the two n type semiconductors then we will obtain an npn transistor we have seen that there are three parts in pnp transistor as well as an npn transistor so what are the parts of the transistor there are three main parts of a transistor one is known as emitter another is known as base and the third reason or the third space is known as collector in npn transistor emitter is n type semiconductor base is p type semiconductor and collector is n type semiconductor on the basis of the space occupied by the three reasons it is moderately moderate space occupied it is very narrow and it is the spacious reason among all the three on the basis of doping if we talk about the emitter emitter is heavily topped reason base is lightly topped reason and the collector is moderately topped reason if we construct a block diagram of transistor we see that there is there are three reasons and in among the three reason the collector is the widest or the spacious reason that is considered this reason is our collector reason base reason is the narrow reason and it is in between the emitter and the collector and it hence it means this reason left is emitter reason in npn transistor this emitter reason is n type base reason is p type and the collector reason is again n type then what is the difference in between the emitter reason and the collector reason collector reason is more spacious as compared to the emitter reason 
and the doping level and the doping concentration in case of emitter is very very large as compared to the collector doping concentration and base is heavily and very lightly doped as it is a very narrow region. We get three terminals from each region. This terminal is known as emitter terminal and this is known as ohmic metallic contact from where we will connect our source voltage source or current source. Similarly, this terminal is our base terminal and this terminal is our collector terminal and that they can be indicated by E, B and C. The input side is always taken in forward biasing in case of transistors and the output terminals and the output side is always reverse biased in case of transistor. If we see there are two junctions this is N type semiconductor this is P type semiconductor it means this is a junction in between emitter and base this junction is first junction and this is known as emitter base junction and we know that the junctions thickness varies with the impurity concentration. The impurity is very very large in case of emitter hence the junction thickness in emitter region is very small. Let us consider the junction in the emitter region is of the thickness this and in case of base comparative with emitter the doping is very small hence the junction thickness in base region is very large as compared to the emitter region this junction g1 is of this width it is extended in base region and it is very narrow in the emitter region because of the doping variation in collector we find out that the doping is very small and due to that the junction J2 is largely extended in the collector region and as in case of base again the doping is very small the junction also extended in base region hence the J2 junction which is also known as collector base junction is of very large width due to the doping concentration as the doping is very small the junction is large and the doping is large the junction is very small hence we find out that there are two junction in a semicon in a transistor whether it is NPN type or PNPA type and there are three terminals known as emitter base and collector whether it is in NPN type or PNP type in case of NPN transistor electrons are majority charge carriers and whereas in case of PNP transistor holes are majority charge carriers. This is the only difference in between the working of NPN transistor and PNP transistor. We can't replace emitter reason with collector reason because of the doping concentration and the space of collector is very very large as compared to the emitter because collector have to collect the electrons emitted by the emitter. Next we will discuss about the transistor action. How we will define the working of transistor we will discuss in the topic transistor action. NPN transistor symbolically 
can be represented like this. This middle terminal is base and this one on the right hand side is collector region and in the left hand side this is our emitter region. If this is our NPN transistor the arrow will be in the outward direction at the emitter terminal and in case of PNP transistor we will represent it again with the help of all these three terminals base in the middle collector in the right hand side and emitter in the left hand side but now the arrow will be in inward direction the arrow in both sim representations indicates the direction of flow of current now as we find out that emitter is heavily topped collector is moderately topped and base reason is lightly topped we can show all these three reasons with the help of bands there are two bands in semiconductor one is our conduction band and another is valence band the bonded electrons are in the valence band and the free electrons we show conductivity are in the conduction band if the semiconductor is pure one then there is a level that is known as fermi energy level or also known as fermi level lies in between these two bands that is energy valence band and the conduction band and we know that the total separation of these two bands is known as energy gap the fermi level lies in mid of the energy gap if it is a pure semiconductor but if it is a n type semiconductor the fermi level will shift towards the conduction band due to the large number of free electrons and if the semiconductor is p type semiconductor then due to the small number of electrons this fermi level will shift towards the valence band or below the fermi level of our pure semiconductors in case of emitter if i have to represent the band diagram of my emitter space or emitter region i know that in case of npn type semiconductor my emitter region is n type semiconductor and having large impurity it means the fermi level will shift very far away in the above direction or towards the conduction band let us consider in the emitter reason this is my fermi level and i am representing it by f1 similarly i can represent the band diagram for the base reason in case of npn transistor and in case of npn transistor my base reason is p type let us consider if this is a pure semiconductor then my fermi level will be in between these two bands that is conduction band and valence band and in p type semiconductor due to the small number of electrons the fermi level will shift downwards to the original point or original place of my fermi level let us consider this is representing the fermi level of the base reason